But we thought, well, it sounds big and it sounds broad. It sounds like an ocean. We'll call it the Grand Pacific. I'm Andy Powers, Taylor Guitars. I'm a guitar maker. I make these things. The V-Class idea started to happen and this guitar was what I first had in mind. So to go back in, uh, I guess, early 2014, we launched our 800 series guitars. So I come back here into the workshop the week following and go, okay, what now? At the same time, I was working on my house a lot. You know, spending nights and weekends rebuilding what was an old shack. So I was listening to a lot of bluegrass. God, these are still really good records. I love this music. It felt in a way like I was listening to some of those records with fresh ears, parts that you listen to close go, you know, actually, I don't have a guitar like that. I don't have something that does that. I should make one. I had worked on enough of those guitars. Sometimes the actual guitars that made those records, I know from experience that these instruments, especially some of these old ones, they don't actually sound like the records I'm familiar with. There is no guitar that makes this sound. This sound is a composite of all kinds of musical goodness. So that's where the GP came from. And so I wanted to build something that had a, a little narrower waist by a tiny bit with a much rounder lower and upper bow, because that would help shape the, the personality of the notes I wanted. I wanted these guitars to be approachable to a lot of musicians. So initially, we are gonna launch a 300 series guitar. So this is our Grand Pacific 317E model. It's got a classic ES2 pickup, the Taylor neck that you've known and loved for years, Sapelli back and sides, solid spruce top, but with this new voice that we've put inside built off the V-Class architecture. The other two models we're launching are what we call a 517 Builders Edition and a 717 Builders Edition. What's unique with those models is all the other appointments, they fall in line with what we call our Builders Edition idea. It's based off the idea that the two ways you could make a guitar better are to make it sound better and feel better. I wanted this guitar to be a full body instrument. So no armrest, no cutaway. It's meant as a full body guitar but I want it to be comfortable. I want it to sit on my lap nicely. I want it to feel approachable. So the edges of the body are all chamfered off. So there's no sharp corners. The bridge, you notice, is a little bit of a departure from the classic Taylor bridge. There's no points or corners on it. The neck shape is really where you see it because this is a new, a unique neck shape for Taylor. The thought's always been in my head, of like, well, my hand isn't the same as I go up the neck. I don't hold the neck the same way, it moves. My hand position changes. Down here, I wrap my thumb more. Everybody does. But up here, you don't wrap your thumb so much. So this neck actually transitions. We call it a compound carve, where it has an ever so slight V shape down near the nut and becomes gradually more round as you go up the fingerboard. This guitar is our Grand Pacific 517 model. This particular one has no pickup because we're building these both with and without pickups on board. This one's mahogany with spruce on top and the whole, kind of this whole suite of Builder's Edition attributes. So this is our 717 Builders Edition. This is a rosewood and spruce version of this guitar with all the Builders Edition appointments.
This here is a Grand Pacific 717 model with no pickup and no sunburst because we're building these guitars both with and without uh, the Wild Honey Burst top finish. For me, the only surprising feedback is the range of player that's found a voice with this guitar. Because initially, I was thinking, man, the traditional players are gonna love this thing. There are stories in this guitar, there are songs in this guitar. And then I handed it to some of the most modern players I could think of, and their response was incredible. Everyone came back and said, man, this feels like home. This feels like a guitar that I knew, but in a way that I've never known it before. It was a guitar that hasn't existed that has a sound that is familiar. When somebody picks this up, whether they're just starting, whether they're a seasoned pro, they're going to find a musical voice. And no matter how you approach it, how you play it, you're going to hear the wonderful things that the V-Class architecture gave us. You'll hear the sustain. You'll hear the balance. You'll hear its projection and volume and this incredible intonation. All these wonderful musical attributes. But what you're going to hear is a personality that's approachable. It's familiar in a way that guitars haven't been in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. 